Hello friends, today we are going to analyze the given force system for the calculation of magnitude and direction of the resultant forces. So observing the figure, we have given four different forces as 30, 70, 50 and 60 kN with the angle with either horizontal or vertical. So first of all, we have to resolve these forces along the x and y direction. So first of all, if we resolve this 30 kN load, then the 30 kN load making an angle 30 degree with the horizontal. So the first resolution in the x direction is 30 cos 30 while the vertical is 30 sin 30 as a outward direction. Now if we focus on the 70 kN load, then one is horizontal resolution and second one is vertical resolution. 70 kN load is making an angle 45 degree with the horizontal. So it is 70 cos 45 as a horizontal and 70 sin 45 as a vertical. Now focusing on 50 kN load, then the horizontal resolution and vertical resolution, it is making an angle with the x axis then it is as a 50 cos 75 with the horizontal and 50 sin 75 as a vertical but the outside the direction and last one is 60 kN. So one resolution is along the horizontal, one is, is along the vertical. Now observing the arrowhead we have outward directional force. Now focusing over here the 25 degree is acting with the vertical. So it is 60 cos 25 in vertical direction while 60 sin 25 in the horizontal direction. So first we have to resolve the given force system in perpendicular resolution as shown in the figure. Now second one is we have to summing up all the horizontal force and all the vertical force as First one is sigma h equal to, now sigma h means algebraic summation of horizontal force and for this we are going to assume the horizontal force towards the positive x direction as a positive. Now first one is 30 cos 30 which is in the positive direction. So it is positive 30 cos 30. Now second one for the 70 cos 45 it is also in the positive direction. So it is positive 70 cos 45 but the 50 cos 75 as well as 60 sin 25 is in the negative x direction hence it is negative now summing up all these value we will have sigma h which is equal to 37.18 kilonewton. Now sigma v equal to in which we have to assume positive y direction as a positive value. So first of all 30. So it is in the upward direction. So it is 30 sin 30 70 sin 45 in downward direction as well as 50 sin 75 in downward direction. So it is negative And 60 cos 25 is in upward direction. So it is positive. Now summing up all these value, we will have sigma v which is equal to minus 28.42 kN. After calculating sigma h and sigma v, we have to find out resultant of these four systems and the equation for resultant is the square root of sigma h square plus sigma v square. Now putting this value we will have resultant as a 46.80 kN. We have calculated sigma h as a 37.18 kN, sigma v as a minus 28.42 kN as well as 
our resultant as a 46.80 kilo newton now we have to locate the direction of these resultant forces and for that our equation is tan theta which is equal to mod of sigma v divided by sigma h and solving this term we will have theta which is equal to 37.40 degree so this is the answer for given four system but we have to look at the resultant with the coordinate system and observing sigma h and sigma v we can say that our resultant having the sigma h it means the horizontal perpendicular resolution in positive direction while vertical perpendicular resolution in negative direction it means it lies in second quadrant having x positive and y negative and resultant making 37.40 degree and this 37.40 degree is with horizontal x positive axis so we have to plot the 37.4 degree with x axis having the value r as a 46.8 kilo newton and theta is a 37.4 or 37.40 degree so this is the graphical representation of the resultant of given force system thank you